health, mind, body, spirit. Hello, you are watching an interesting video about vehicle seat belts, they actually save lives. Please read this disclaimer carefully. Did you snap in your seat belt as soon as you get in the car? Do your children have the right safety seats for their weight and age? If you've answered no, even just once, you need to read on. Seat Belt Safety, 5-Way Protection Seat belts prevent occupants of the vehicle from serious injury in five ways, says Angela Osterhuber, director of the Pennsylvania Traffic Injury Prevention Project in Media, PA. A seat belt. Keeps the occupants of the vehicle inside. It's clearly a myth that people are better off being thrown clear from the crash, Osterhuber says. People thrown from a vehicle are four times more likely to be killed than those who remain inside. Restraints the strongest parts of the body. Restraints are designed to contact your body at its strongest parts. For an older child and adult, these parts are the hips and shoulders, which is where the seat belt should be strapped, Oster Huber says. spreads out any force from the collision. Lap and shoulder belts spread the force of the crash over a wide area of the body. By putting less stress on any one area, they can help you avoid serious injury, Oster Huber says. A shoulder strap also helps keep your head and up and upper body away from the dashboard, steering wheel, and other hard interior parts of the automobile should you stop suddenly or be hit by another vehicle. helps the body to slow down. What is it that causes injury? A quick change in speed, Oster Huber says. Seat belts help extend the time it takes for you to slow down in a crash. Protects your brain and spinal cord. A seat belt is designed to protect these two critical areas. Head injuries may be hard to see immediately but they can be deadly, Oster Huber says. Likewise, spinal cord injuries can have serious consequences. Seat Belt Safety, Buckle Up Correctly Adjusting your seat belt properly is a must, getting the right fit is as important as wearing it. The strap that goes across your lap should fit snugly over your hips and upper thigh area. If the belt rides up on the stomach, it could, ca could cause serious injuries in a crash, Oster Huber says. Shoulder belts should rest securely across your chest and shoulders between your breasts. Don't ever let the strap fall across your neck or face and never place the strap under your arms or behind your back. Any one of these positions can cause serious injury. Oster Huber says. Seat Belt Safety, Rules for Infants and Children Children are not small adults, they need specialized protection in a moving vehicle. Their skeletal structure is different, Oster Huber says. Age, height, and weight determine the safest way for a child to travel. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, here's how to select the right option for your child. Rear facing child safety seat. Children under age 1 and those who weigh less than 20 pounds should sit in rear facing child safety seats approved by the National Highway Traffic Sick Safety Administration, NHTSA. The seats should be placed in the back seat of the car. Forward-facing child safety seat. 
children older than one who weigh more than 20 pounds should ride in forward-facing child safety seats. The seat should be placed in the rear of the vehicle until the child reaches the upper weight or height limit of the particular seat. Typically, a child will outgrow a safety seat around age 4 and once she reaches about 40 pounds. Booster Seat Children age 4 and older who weigh more than 40 pounds should ride in booster seats. A child can safely progress to a seat belt when the belt fits properly across the upper thighs and chest. This is usually at age 8 or when they are at least 4 feet 9 inches just tall, Oster Huber says. Seat Belt When children outgrow their booster seats, they can use seat belts, but they still should sit in the back of the vehicle. Really. All children should be riding in the back seat of the car until they are at least 13 years old, Oster Huber says. Seat Belt Safety – A Clear Message The National Safety Council recently reported a drop in traffic fatalities for 2008, indicating a record low since the 1920s when it began publishing statistical reports. One reason given for the decline is the increased use of seat belts. It takes only a few seconds to buckle up once you get in the car. Why wouldn't you? Thank you. Keep watching more interesting and informative videos.